Welcome back. So, um, Trig, you want N sine N to average. <laughs> so, uh, the first thing we're going to do is pair up the ones that are the same. So you have N sine N degrees plus 180 degrees minus N times sine 1. Wait. No, it's. Hang on. Uh, 180 minus N times 180 minus N degrees minus N degrees? Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, so this is equal to like something. What is it equal to? Um, 180 sine n degrees, right? No, it's really a smell. Okay, great. So, uh, 90 times sine 90. Oh, maybe that's not right. <laughs> okay, anyways, so enough to show that um, when I sum the sine of n degrees from n equals 0 to uh, let's just say 178 I th think well we don't care about the endpoints actually let's just do to 180 um, this is supposed to be equal to cotangent of 1 degree over something I don't know what this something is Uh, how many things are there? We're dividing by 90, we think... Over 2, I think? Is that correct? I blew all my money on the title. <laughs> Okay, hang on, there's 90 numbers, so if I double it and add the other way, I get 180. So there should be just, it's just, there's no two, I think it's just one. Okay, so that's what we want. Um, I'm just gonna, 180 is 178, that doesn't matter. Uh, you're right that it's steps of two though, so let me, 89, 200 degrees. N degrees. Okay, so now we're going to do what we always do, which is like, um, let zeta be a uh, primitive, let zeta equals cos 2 degrees plus sine, I sine 2 degrees. And okay, this, this has to work, right? So n equals 0 to 89 of zeta to the k, or to the n, minus zeta to the minus n over 2i should be equal to, is the thing we want. Right, let's, let's just compute it. This should be easy. Uh, better music. What's the numerator? Yeah, so zeta to the 90 minus 1 plus zeta to the... Uh... Hang on, which way does it go? It's 1 minus zeta on the bottom. Zeta to minus zeta to the 89 plus zeta. Okay, so this is equal to 1 over 2i times zeta to the 89 plus 1. Okay, that's not good because that's not a real number, so I messed something up. Uh,
Oh my god, there's so many eclipses. Oh, we're glad you kids are having fun. Shoot, there's a minus sign. This is Zeta minus 89. Um. So there's a plus one, and then there's like, uh, oh, Jesus Christ, what's the other one? Oh. Well, I'm pretty sure I flipped the sign again. <laughs> no, 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 That's, the sign is fine. Um, crap, what is it? No, is it is it plus or minus? Wait, help! <laughs> I can't get the sign right. Okay, times zeta, so it's one minus zeta plus plus plus. No, it's plus. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, uh. calculations. Oh my god. Okay, wait. How do I simplify this? Um. Should I just factor the numerator first? Z equals 1 is a root of the numerator for sure. Um, One. Okay. Uh, so that's a closed form. Uh, the, yeah, factors. That's what I thought I should do. Actually, I'm... Hmm. Really? Yeah, I guess factor to begin with. Uh, that's fine. So do I just let zeta equals size squared? I guess. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like as a matter of principle, I shouldn't have to do it or something in the sense that like, see, my philosophy is that all these trade problems are always complex numbers problems, and like, this is supposed to just always work. Um, but I guess it's maybe not that fun to show this thing is equal. Zeta is so weird. But I guess maybe it's fine and I can just... Yeah, but the thing is, like, trick requires thought or something. Uh, and I have no brain, so uh, I try to do the things that require the least amount of thinking. I feel like I don't like the position I ended up in though. <laughs> All right, well, let's say zeta equals... What's zeta to the 90? Uh, minus one. Oh wait, yeah, zeta to the 90 is minus one. What am I doing? <laughs> oh my god. See, this is, this is what I mean when I say I have no brain, like... <laughs> Hmm. Jesus Christ. 
whenever I... Wait, so I could have simplified this thing to on the- oh my god. I... <laughs> oh man. Okay, that, that was ill-advised. Oh crap. One moment, uh, recompile, because I screwed up a sign again. So this is minus two, this is also minus two. Um, okay, so this is equal to one. All right, so now I'm gonna screw up the signs again because that's what I do best. Uh, but zeta on the top is zeta minus, zeta inverse minus zeta here. On the outside, I have 1 over minus i, and then on the bottom, it's zeta minus 1, zeta inverse minus 1. So now this is 1 over i times, on the top, it's zeta squared minus 1. And on the bottom, it's zeta minus 1 times zeta plus 1. No, it's sorry, it's just zeta minus one squared. Uh, did I flip a sign? I flipped a sign again, didn't I? Yeah, it should be minus i. Okay, so we can divide out the common vector. So this is zeta plus one uh, on zeta minus one. Okay, and that's, that should be fine. Um, because, like. That's so annoying. Yeah, but this should be fun. Um, I feel like I should try to extract directly from here. Because this is actually... I feel like going here is a step backwards, actually. Because this thing is... This denominator is a actual real number. It's the cosine of 2 degrees plus 1, uh, whatever. Yeah, actually, that's probably the easiest thing to do. Uh, cot 1, cotangent 1 is equal to the cosine of 1 degree over the sine of 1 degree, which is equal to... Alright, you want to get it in terms of 2, um, so we'll just do some double angle crap. So cosine 1 degree squared, cosine 1 degree, sine 1 degree. Um, so this is equal exactly to um, cosine of 2 degrees, uh, which way does it go? Plus 1 over 2? All over, um, sine 2 degrees over 2. Okay, and that's equal to some stuff. It's equal to half of zeta plus zeta inverse uh, plus 1 over 1 over 2i zeta minus zeta inverse so these should be the same thing, right? so this is equal to i times zeta plus 1 all squared over zeta squared minus 1. Okay, we're done!
Okay, we got two problems this stream. Post here. Uh, let me finish. Let me convert this into my database for my first. Thank you, Galazar, for the follow. Mm, I probably don't need a new line there. Pack a button. Yeah. All right. Um, and sign and degrees. Okay. 